Um, it's called Defining Moment, and my most recent therapist, who just happens to have trained at the same place I'm training to be a counsellor now, um, I went into a session with her one day, and I was pissed off because people from different areas of my life kept saying things along the lines of, your trauma doesn't define you, and I didn't know why it was hitting me so negatively, but it was really making me angry, and I couldn't understand why. Um, so I thought, let me take it into therapy, that's what she's there for, and she spent the next 50 minutes entirely validating how I felt, and helping me to understand why I felt that way, and then I went away and wrote this poem. So thank you for listening to me. This is my final piece. They say, it doesn't define you, you know. My neck hangs like bluebells. The color of my mood rings out. The blues. Instrumental in the many walks when depression obscures the view. Forget me not flashback. Stinging metal skin, soothed by a bitter dock, sapping life from within. Daisy chains dress up the way, his weight still keeps me down. I want to go out, but his face in the clouds, senses implode when the world resounds. My buttercups don't reflect yellow because butter is fat. And I can't be because he liked me like that. He took away my favourite colour when he took away the sun. A depression that's jealous of yours, if it dares to rise in skies of fun. I'm a honeybee. If I wound you once, it's death to me. My thoughts are puffball dandelions carried away so easily. Tornado memories leave me shaking like a leaf. I am mud, dirty, still scrubbing myself clean. Yet they say it doesn't define you, you know. Character recast with a wardrobe fit for formication. I take my coat from the hook I'm on, keeps me from reaching my foundation. Take my skin crawls on long walks, bridge railings not to be approached. His temper left inside of me, a temper not to be provoked. I'm a lot for me to handle. If only some could be preserved and drip fed in small doses as I become ready for the reserves. Only smile in the mirror when I look familiar. Identity as people keep examining. No one respects my new build boundaries. And the next thing I know, I'm panicking. No bad hair days, just bad head days. When my tears fall like they're trying to give him praise. Lost my job and pursued my mental state. Went through more pain to prove I'm not insane. There are those that exploit me for their own gain. Can't let me down, expectations were erased. Don't trust the ones by who I was cared and raised as someone I looked up to. He once filled that space. I'm an explosive with potential to devastate. I won't detonate until I'm far enough away. A monumental illness to which many can't relate. Tea, two sugars taste the same as a full plate. Don't have a comfort zone even on Sundays. Only time I dance is to ground when my head strays. Live for the clarity that comes after I awake. I'll keep waking even though my comfort is at stake. I keep a towel by my side as a barricade. Or perhaps to clean up more of the mess he made. If I'm going to cross you, I will look both ways. And if you hit me, I'll find strength in the pain. I've got more conviction than a court of magistrates. I'm afraid to say the verdict didn't validate. But no conviction gave me more to educate. No conviction gave me more to set the record straight. So when they say it doesn't define me, it makes me feel betrayed. Because if to define is to describe the nature of, my garden doesn't grow the same. And if to define is to establish the character of, I'm unrecognisable except my name. And if to define is to mark out the boundaries of, step back and respect my space. If to define is to give the meaning of, the moral of my story has been replaced. From being 15 with the world at my feet, believing that people were kind, to being the person I needed when I was 16, looking fear in the eye and making it high. The dream was to have kids of my own one day to be somebody's wife. Now the dream is to keep waking up from them to make sure he doesn't take more of my life. So when they say it doesn't define me, it's more for them than me. They feel uncomfortable that they can't fix the problem that they see. But you see, if they take away the problem, I'm still left with its effects. No trauma but post-trauma disorder responses to non-existent events. I don't want to only accept a future version of me that may never come to be. 
And if they're looking for the person I used to be, they don't deserve this me. I can't remember her. Only the events that made her leave. So let me honour the meaning. Allow me endless time to grieve. Because the force of this is real. You can't disprove gravity. When I say that it defines me, I don't say it in agony. I don't know who I am without the memories. But with them, I'm resilient and I'm bold. And this world needs me. Not a version that's trying to fit the image society has sold. Don't get me wrong. He didn't make me strong. That was me. But I'd like to thank him for the lives I could change by him ruining mine, because that is more powerful than an apology. See, maybe I see his face in the clouds. But a cloud is part of something much bigger. And when the clouds disappear, the bigger picture becomes clear. I don't have to find the positives in it. I have to find the power. When they say it doesn't define me, it reminds me not to cower. They mean well. But its meaning brings me tranquility. If every day is a gift, I'll accept the worst ones and use them to the best of my ability. When they say it doesn't define me, they undermine the position I'm in. A defining moment is being urged to make a pivotal decision. And every day since, I've had to decide to keep living. So, to who it may concern, it's not yours to take away. You can stand with me until the clouds disperse, but the weather isn't yours to change. You can be a part of the bigger picture, but you can't return the gifts he gave. And you can't say it doesn't define me when it explains who I became. Thank you so much for having me.